Hey guys, this is Daniel and welcome to another video. So once again, I've not been successful with making videos in this week. So I thought I would show you what I worked on instead and what I spent my time with, which is this project here. Uh, you might remember the character from the tutorial series from a few weeks ago. It's the same character, but I started posing it and um, remodeling half of the parts to make them uh, fit the new post better. So yeah, I thought I would show it to you and, and point out a few details that were interesting. So the first thing that I started with at the beginning of this was obviously the body, which is not so much uh, that happened there. I just put an armature system, system into it, um, applied the pose and did remodeling. So the rig was really bad. Uh, there were lots of problems with the deformation, but I didn't care at that point. I just um, applied it and corrected everything by hand because I don't want or at least I didn't uh, my goal wasn't to have a fully animatable character it's just a figure in a detailed pose anyways the next part which took me more time and effort was uh, this part of the cloth which is um, vertex mold by hand this time not a simulation. I tried sculpting it, but I'm still really bad at it. However, sculpting really caught my interest in, uh, recently, so I think I'll spend more time with that, but I'm, even though I know the theory behind it and all the technical stuff where the buttons are and things like that, I really like the, st uh, the skill still, so I've got to practice a lot. Now, there's some parts I didn't touch at all yet, but I plan to, for example, this upper part of the cloth, um, some other parts that I just drew in as a placeholder, but I didn't really touch them uh, when I got further with the pros. But the most interesting part, I think, is the hair. <laughs> I spend really lots of time, I think, four or five hours straight on, on, this, uh, on, on this object with hair, and it was really fun to make and were interesting. I tried to get lots of dynamic into it, uh, that works well together with the with the motion of the pose, and I think it went not too bad. Um, yeah, yeah. Just tell me what you think about it. I think it's pretty interesting uh, to model something like that, um, like like this, because normally you see always people sculpting it. I've never really s seen someone doing it this way with polygons. Uh, so I thought. Yeah, you might be interested in that. Um, generally, maybe let me know what you think about me making videos of this kind, because uh, the reason why I'm not making so many tutorial kind of videos is because basically, in the end, I do want to get better at 3D modeling and stuff. So I spend lots of time on modeling. So you see, it's not like me not having time to do uh, anything. It's just that instead of recording tutorials, I would also like to work on my projects as this one for example. So let me know if you're fine with uh, seeing videos like this from time to time. Of course mixed up with some tutorials whenever I find a good topic to talk about. And as always I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I'm looking forward to seeing you in my next part. Have a good day 